Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm going to sh uh, show you a bit of uh, selecting pieces for a background. Uh, I'm not going to be on very long because I'm not feeling well. I have um, like a toothache and I actually got an appointment tomorrow with the dentist so to get that good taken care of. But I wanted to, to pop on because I've just been laying in bed and I just needed something to do. Um, so I hope even if the quality of the video is not as high as uh, my previous videos because I'm not using a rig to hold up the camera, I'm using my hand, um, which kind of limits me because I only have one hand at that point. But I hope that it's still helpful for you guys um, and you get an idea of how to build up your background collage. I kind of talked about this a little bit um, when I was talking about selecting images for from a magazine especially at the end of when you're about to recycle um but i wanted to kind of just show you a little bit more clearly the type of stuff that i would usually grab out of the magazine for backgrounds and um this is perfect for when you're about to toss your magazine you, you already got all your focal images your text everything and you're just about to toss it take one more look at that magazine before you toss it and look at the backgrounds see if there's anything interesting that you might be able to cut out and use as a background um for a collage or something of that nature or even atc cards um uh what you call them inchies all these great things can be backgrounds for those projects so um it's always good to like take another look before you get rid of your magazines Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and uh, show you what I'm talking about. So see here, there's a little bit of blue background behind her. I'm going to tear that out. It's plain. It doesn't have a lot of interest. But it'll still be good as a background um, for a focal image. This as well with the the brown on the background that would be good now this image I love the background of this image it's really pretty but the the lady itself is kind of interesting as well so I may pull that whole page I'm not sure if I'm gonna use her or just the background but definitely she's she can be used somewhere now see here, I like this little stripe thing on the corner. I think that would be very interesting. So I'm cut that piece out. Now this is not like a background that's solid. It has some branches, but I think that's interesting enough to, to add it into your collage. So I ripped that piece out. Okay, so we have the same girl. She's not as interesting here, but the background, I like the background. So I'm going to cut a bunch of the background around her out. Now text, you can use text um, in the background book text or magazine text you can obscure it away so it doesn't take the interest this i like because it has it looks like a little doily pattern on the side um so it had a little bit of interest but still the same color background and i'm going to take that whole background around her as well here it's like a silver gray background and there's not much image in there so it's more background than image so i will cut around all of that and avoid the letters and the jacket I need to remember when you're putting images on top, it's going to be your focal image. So you don't want a busy background. You want something that has a little tiny bit of interest or is mostly plain so that your focal image will stand out. So there's a bunch of beige backgrounds here, but there's not a lot of space in it so there's not much of the background to take from 
but here there's a lot more so it's very plain very natural i wouldn't normally use it but if i'm using a very um like plain background with those color scheme that would work really well um to blend with the other color schemes and browns beiges golds that kind of thing so i'm going to take that So there's a lot of black background. I don't normally would use black too much, but I will take some of that. I also like puzzles. So like crossword puzzles, um, Sudoku, different things like that that have like blocks and stuff could be very interesting background. So I'm taking the black from here. This would be a nice color, but unfortunately there's too much text around it, so I'm not going to get that one. Here I'm talking about text again. Um, text would be a great background as long as you don't make it so it's very clear to read unless that's part of the theme that you're going for. Because um, that could take away from your focal image. But text is always good. Book text, magazine text. Oh, here I love this. The smoke pattern right there is lovely. All the um, imagery in the background is like beige and goldish. That would work for a lot of things. It's very natural looking. Um, so I'm going to take a lot of that. Even the word here right here, optimism, is a good one to take. So there's, there's plenty to be used in that page. So here I'm just showing you some of the background pieces that I've collected prior to this video and during the video so you can kind of see what it is that I'm looking for and what you could be looking for when you choose your background. These things like that have enough interest in them but it's blurred so it doesn't, your eye doesn't jump to it. Um, this is lovely. particularly love the interest in this one with the lines. So you're going to be taking this and including your other backgrounds and blending it for your, your total background of your image. Um, so it doesn't matter that they're little pieces. Because you're going to find like images, like backgrounds, similar um, color grouping or whatever you're, you're going for. And you're going to mix it together to, to make this background. So these images will work really nice. That one has a lot of interest in there, so I, I grabbed that one. Here with the same like dually thing, that's the smoke we cut out earlier. This image is very cute. It's very cool to use. Um, it's like sand, but you can't really tell. So that would work well in the background. And plain colors can work nice when you're doing some kind of bright, bold collage. Pictures of water and sky backgrounds are really good for... Um, really good to uh, use as a natural element in your background. 
All right, so that's all I wanted to share. Um, just a short little video to kind of highlight this aspect of uh, magazine harvesting and building a background for your collages. Um, if you'd like me to do more on this, just leave it below. And thank you for bearing with my sick voice. And um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.